this is a project that I've set myself to do over Christmas and part of it's in this package. So this has just arrived from eBay today and as you can see it's a Sega Saturn. Um, you probably ask Dave, you've already got a Saturn, why have you bought another one? So this is my original Saturn, so I've had this since 95, 96. And what you'll see different here is with the Saturn that I have, you've got black buttons. So as you can see. But with this Saturn, say that out of the way. The buttons are a different shape and they're also grey. So the real difference is this one is a Model 2 Saturn and this is the original Model 1. Now I've got this action replay cartridge in there which is great for playing Japanese imports but the one thing it doesn't do is let you play games at 60 Hz so this is the next thing I wanted to do with the Saturn. Now unfortunately partially for sentimental value but also with the Model 1 it's very difficult to mod so to do the 60 hertz modification you need to do some fairly advanced soldering or at least more advanced than my capability so you've got to cut the leg on one of the chips and do um, some rerouting there with a switch but with this one it's just a case of shorting out certain connections so you've got um, you've got a grid and it's just a case of cutting one of the the current bits that shorted out and then just adding a switch in or just hard wiring it. I think to be honest I'll just hard wire it to 60 Hz and hopefully, fingers crossed, it, it should uh, it should work. So I bought this fairly cheap off eBay. It was just a case of looking for a Saturn that was, well in the case of this one it was just untested, possibly not working. It didn't come with any cables but I've already got the cables and I've just got it home now tried it and it seems to work perfectly fine. There are a few cosmetic scratches and things like that and the cartridge slot is a little bit dirty so I'm not sure if that will affect this cartridge here. But what I'll do when I'm doing the soldering job I'll video it so you can see what I'm actually doing so if I come across any problems then hopefully um, it should be useful. Hopefully no problems at all and it's just a case of soldering it. Okay then, this is the inside of the Saturn after the mod. It didn't exactly go to plan because despite this being a Model 2 Saturn, if you look closely, you can see this is a VA9 model board, which means, if we go over here, it doesn't have the solder points that you'd expect to see. So what I've had to do is do it the hard way and to lift, I'm not sure if this will show very well, pin 79 on the VDP2 chip. Come on, focus. Ah, that's better. And rewire this so that it's pointing to this one here, which is 5 volts. The proper way of doing this would be to add a, a toggle switch, which will give you uh, two different directions on it. Unfortunately, because I went and bought this, which is just a, a push switch, it doesn't work for this mod, so what I just decided to do was to just hardwire it to 60 Hz, which is 5 volts instead of having a switch to ground. Okay, then I've got the Saturn reassembled and I've put the action replay cartridge in, so let's just see if this thing actually powers up. Okay, looking good. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm looking at this now. It's the set language clock screen. This is because I've taken the battery out and forgotten to replace it. Let's pretend it's 1994. It's hard to tell whether this is actually running at 60 hertz or not because the title screen, from what I remember, always ran full screen in, in PAL. Okay, it's detecting the action replay, so let's try one of my favourites, which is, uh, you probably can't see it, X Men versus Street Fighter. This is perhaps the well one of the best games to try on this because at 50 Hertz the sound glitches quite badly. The the other things you get with 50 Hertz is 
a slightly squashed image and a little bit of slowdown and to be brutally honest I can live with both it's not at least to me it's not that big a deal but with this and a couple of other games the sound glitch is quite badly at 50 Hertz and it, it ruins it this will be filling the RAM expansion yep that looks full screen to me the sound seems fine as well let's just start it and see oops didn't mean to do that I've got Ryu anyway, that's all that matters. A little bit of loading, but not too much. I have to say, this is running really smooth. And there's no glitching at all. The one thing I'm noticing at the top of the screen, although it's it's not that obvious, there's a little bit of a wobble, but I'm not sure if that's just because that's what NTSC is or whether it's my um, not so professional soldering, but I can live with that, it's not, it's not really noticeable, it doesn't really detract. It turns out, as I've recently found out, that not every Model 2 Saturn is the same, and it seems that this one had exactly the same well, I say problem, the same challenge as trying to modify a, a Model 1 Saturn. As I said before, I got this fairly cheap. It was sold as possibly not working. And it was just a few pounds from eBay. And I didn't really want to spend a lot of money on a, a Saturn in case I got the wrong model. And this one is it's called V9, revision of the motherboard. And so if if you are looking for a Saturn to modify very simply I would probably see if you can get one that has these solder pads but it's it's hard to tell from the outside I'm not sure if it's a case of there being a, a particular serial number on the back but at least from from eBay it's pretty hit and miss which model you get and as I got this one at home I found out it was a lot harder to mod than I thought but it seemed to go okay right so if you've got any advice on modding consoles or if you've got any discussions then I'd be interested to hear what I've done on this is not well I've not really bothered with a, a switch I thought I'll keep this as a 60 hertz Saturn and keep my old one as a 50 hertz Saturn and then just use the action replay on this one thanks for watching